Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Susan Love TV from Susan and Family TV. So, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. As for me and my daughter, we are doing super, 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 super great by His grace. Amen. And we wish the same for you all out there. Amen. So, beautiful people, welcome to another chit chat video from Susan Love TV from Susan and Family TV. So, beautiful people, normally this video. I do do it anytime I'm doing like video, you know, folding clothes, what we want to do out. I normally do it on our other channel, Susan and Family TV, but the camera on the phone that I'm using on Susan and Family TV, the camera is always stopping when I don't stop it, you know. So that is why I decide, oh, it's better for me to do it on Susan Love TV. This is our chit chat channel, Susan Love TV from Susan and Family TV. So if it's your first time of passing by we say thank you we appreciate your time and this is not our first channel we also have other channel called Susan and family tv so from Susan and family tv we also created the Susan love tv for our chit chat channel so we also have kids channel called kids are adorable tv so beautiful people as you can see i've just folded all this clothes they are winter clothes you can see winter jacket and winter clothes i folded it already this is another one winter jacket and winter clothes i folded it already so you see the with the weather is coming like it's coming better now the winter is already true you know for those time before the other winter will come so this also this is for the rain and this also for the winter so before other winter will come so it's like the clothes that we will not need, the clothes that I and my daughter will not need for the coming winter. So I decided to bring it out to for them and give it out to people who would also love to like, you know, use them. So over here, uh, my daughter, Sha and Moots. Sha is for the neck for the winter and Moots is for the hair. So I folded them already and she have also this jacket also. She's not using it. So she wants to give it also to kids. So I folded all these things already. So it's just for me to put it in the sack. And the sack is here. So, and here also we have some shoes. My daughter has some books, three books. So these three books, she's giving it out because why? She already passed the level of these books already. She passed the level of this book. She has this DVD also, she's still using it. So she has some covers she wants to give to kids, you know. So I just put them in the she's not using it she has some canvas i think almost four months now she has not used this canvas so i just decided to give it to kids and we also i have like canvas we have a big bag for kids school bag in case maybe the kids sometimes you know kids do go for you know bus class and we call it bus class and but in english is excursion we also have i also put two canvas from mine that i'm not using also Two canvas from mine that I'm not using, so we are giving it out. So these two I'm not using it. So since we are not using it, it's better to give it out, beautiful people, than just to like you know put it in the home and keep it there. And the more you give things out, the more the breeze is coming. You know, fresh hair can come in the home, and you know now it's coming. The weather is coming brighter and summer is coming, you know. So when we open the windows, when we give things out and then the fresh breeze can come in, you know. But when you stop things that you don't need in the home, you know, it's going to like giving you over dust in the home because you don't need it. You need to free it and give it out, you know. So here is it. This is the sack. This is already okay like this. I'm just going to tie the tip. You can see me doing it now. <laughs> I'm just going to tie the tip of this. This one is true. So this paper is what we are going to place on the back tomorrow. This says, you can see here it's written Vredak 8.30. So Vredak means Friday. So tomorrow Friday, you know, 8.30 before my daughter and I will leave home, you know, we are going to put it outside. So the start Antwerp here is R means start Antwerp you know city of Antwerp so they are going to come with car 
you know people that are taking the clothes and they will come and take the clothes tomorrow so once they see we place this on it even if it's like five bags we bring out we place only one on one of the bags so they will know that it's for the start antwerp to take it you know so they give it to family that would love to like use those clothes this winter things you know so here is it so beautiful people today you know anytime i'm doing like folding clothes that we are giving out i always like to like do chit chat video you know let it not be like oh we are just like sitting down just only folding the clothes we also like i will always like to like entertain also people while you are seeing what i'm doing folding the clothes you know putting it in the box i will also love to like you know entertain everyone with a chit chat you know so today on our chit chat we are going to be talking about our nigeria you know actor you edushi you know so everybody knows him so to some people who have known like heard about him and who, who don't know him and which maybe you have seen this video and it's your first time of hearing of you actor you edushi so actor you edushi is an actor from nigeria lollywood you know so his father is famous father is famous actor father also you know sir pet edushi is an asian famous actor you know though it's no more it's no more hurting though know? so his son you edushi actor you edushi is the one we are talking about now you know so to me i've been seeing so many videos oh actor you edushi has married the second wife actor you edushi has married the second wife so to me i'm still like surprised is it true that this actor has really married his second wife or is it that it's just a movie they are acting or is it that uh it's just like or is it a dream or is it like something like people are just forming it you know so to me you know there are some people when they do things you don't expect it you are going to be like surprised for a long time you know so since i have been saying this oh after you edushi got married to a second wife you know i have been like you know i've been like it's like a dream i've been like or it's a film i've been like oh uh, it's fake it's not real you know because due to the way i see him i don't believe that it can go to that extent you know or it can go to that like having a second wife i don't see him the way i see him you know there are so many people you know there are different ways you see people because i have been watching his videos so when you watch people like as you are looking at me it's like you already knowing my character you already know some things about me that even when people like say it you say oh this is truth about this woman this is truth about mama benita this is truth about susan oh i don't agree this with you you know so that is it so that is how i also see this actor you edushi because i watch his movies so i feel like i'm going to like be you know doing this chit chat i'm going to like be expressing myself on based on what i feel you know is happening to this actor you edushi and his home and his first wife so what i feel is happening is what i'm going to feel like express so feel free comment below add your opinion what you are going to think about what we are going to talk about just add your opinion you know as you are going to be learning from me i would love to also learn something from you you know so i always love to do my videos you know mostly on this our chit chat shiny videos i always love to do videos that are the, from the beginning to the end that someone out there who watch our videos our channel can learn something if not everything you are going to agree but you are going to like from the beginning to the end you are going to learn something so i also have a facebook page called lessons of life try and follow me on my facebook page lessons of life through my name on facebook victory bear v i c t o r o i b e l l that is my name victory bear on facebook and through my facebook name you can reach me and be a member of my facebook page called lessons of life i created that facebook page lessons of life because of what i've learned too much i've learned a lot as a single mother by god's grace this year i and my daughter will be celebrating my daughter at 13 years baby so as a single mother for all these years i've learned a lot from men i've learned a lot from people so that is why i made that facebook page and i name it lessons of life so most of my you know stories that i put on that my facebook page just like as i put on this our channel chit chat susan love tv are most are my you know my true life stories but some of the stories also are like what i watch on youtube 
and I would like do a reacting to it just like as I'm doing reacting to this you know video that's like I've been seeing you know about you Edushi got married to a second wife so now it's like what I'm feeling is what I feel what I think is happening to him is what I'm going to like express to you guys though we don't live with him in the home we don't live with him and us and his first wife you know so we don't really know what really happened between him and the first wife that made him to like oh i'm going to have a second wife you know so we are going to like i'm going to like talk you know on this based to the way i see him on, on movies the way i feel he is that is what i am going to like expressing my feelings towards this man actor you know so that is why i said it's still like surprise to me i don't still believe that our actor you and is married to his second wife i still think like it's it's a movie i still think like it's a dream i still think that it's fake i still think that oh uh, it's a frame up i still think that something is wrong somewhere so that is why i made the title i am surprised that our actor you edushi got married to a second wife so why people will ask oh why are you surprised because the reason why i'm surprised because i see him that he's not that kind of man that would love to break his home he's not that kind of man that would love to cause his first wife pain i see him it's not that kind of man that would like oh i want to be a polygamous man i see him that it's not that kind of man that would like oh I want to have a second wife, you know. So most videos that I've also watched from other channels, they all like put in that you Edushi came out himself in many videos, several videos, you know, you know, proclaiming that his first wife has never given him any reasons for him to like you know regret getting married to her for their 16 years in marriage one five 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 and one 16 years in marriage with his first wife that his first wife has never given him any reason for him to regret that he got married to her that he is blessed with his first wife is happily married with his first wife that his first wife always give him happiness and peace so that is the reason even before like I saw all those videos that people like put it out that you and she said that his first wife is one of the you know best wife out there i was already like imagining myself already i was like surprised that oh what will make this man this kind of a man who i see him like as is going to be a loving husband to his wife i see him that is going to be a loving caring father to his kids so what will really motivate this kind of a man to go ahead and have a second wife so i am so glad that i still begin like start to see it on other channels you know where they put in that oh you know she also went ahead saying to him you know you know saying on videos that his wife his first wife is one of the best women out there so now what is going to really lead this man you know this our actor you know she to have a second wife so to my own opinion i think this is not his fault I know so many people will say oh why will you say this you are a woman yes i'm a woman you know anytime i say on youtube women passing through uh, like betrayed by their husband betrayed by their partners disappointed by their husband or divorced with their husbands and all i like feel the pain for them because why i am a single mother guys i know what it is to be a single mother it is not easy when any single mother out there comes to tell you oh be a single mother it is very easy it is very sweet yes it's sweet by god's grace in my life my daughter's life because why i know god god has been faithful to my daughter and i and god will continue to be faithful to my daughter and I. that is why i am not regretting that i am a single mother but there are other single mother out there who will not like to like express what the fee who will like oh uh oh who will like oh yes all is well with them oh they are so proud that they are single mother you know every woman is crowned to have a husband you know but it's not our fault that we don't have that husband we don't have that loving husband yet that is why we are seeing still a single mother but i'm not going to say because i am a single mother that i wish all women out there 
like me to be a single mother no if you like come out to do a video oh you a douche is married to a second wife for that reason oh if i'm a, that's the, the some of the videos i've watched already you know some videos i've watched from other youtubers saying oh if i'm the one if I'm a, you, a, you, a douchey first wife, I'm just going to move out of that marriage. I'm not going to like, you know, cope with him, with the second wife and all. Really, guys, we have to be frank. You know, I always do my video being frank to everybody. I always do my video talking about what I know that I would do, what I know that is good to me, to my child. I would love to share to everybody, you know. So this you, Edoshi, we are talking about, when people see him alone on movie, without that maybe you have not been with them in the home with him and his kids and wife, you will know that he is a caring husband. He is a caring father to his, to his kids. Because most of his movies, you will see him always smiling, is always cheerful, is always like making everybody, like sometimes when they do like, um set set the movie set you will see that even when you don't know that they are videoing him it's like making all the people in that movie making them cheerful making them happy so this kind of man you know is going to make his kids happy and is going to make his wife happy so when you come out to do a video and say oh if i'm um, you, a douchey first wife i will just leave the marriage when she left the marriage do you have another husband do you have another man that you are going to give to this woman you know so at this point you know you a douchey she wife what it needs from us we mothers we women is encouragement a word that will encourage her for her to be able to stay in a marriage you know if her husband even after getting married to a second wife the husband still come out to say that oh my first wife is the best my first wife has never given me a reason for me to regret me marrying her. My first wife, since I got married to her for 16 years, she has always given me happiness. So if this man is proud, still proud of his first wife, so why will you like go out to say, oh, if I'm the, if I'm in her shoes, I'm just like going to move out of that marriage. No man is a saint. It's only our Lord Jesus is a saint. Only God Almighty is a saint. All men can make mistakes. So what I'm trying to say that is still a surprise to me that our actor you and do she got married to second wife is that it is strange to me because why well, is not the kind of a man that i would have like expected for him to get married to his second wife so i think something went wrong somewhere i think he just wanted to eat little a cake he just wanted to like have fun he just wanted to like you know oh let me taste something else he just wanted to like oh or maybe this woman is all over me let me just like test her a little you know and it resulted to this second wife getting pregnant and saying oh maybe you must marry me you know so it is strange you know for a man like you know you a douche, you can see that his background is you know his family is well brought up from a responsible home if you don't know his father his father is sir pet a douche. He is a responsible father a responsible grandfather which i know that he brought up his kiss responsible way so to me i think something went wrong somewhere to me i think that uh after you and dushi didn't want to like he wanted to like you know make his wife feel pain i think he didn't wanted to like have a second wife it didn't it's not what he planned i think what happened is just like i don't know what i feel you know about what you know i'm saying what i feel is what i'm saying so comment below so i think what he wanted to do was he just wanted to like have a taste of something else that resulted to this you know there are some men out there who are lucky to have a side chick who don't want to break homes there are some side chicks so men have some side chick for 10 years while they are married and their wife will never know that their husband have a side chick their wives will never notice that their husband have a side chick because why this side chick out there doesn't want to break this man home this side chick out there doesn't want to you know to give another woman at attack this side chick out there doesn't want any woman to go through pain because of her even when the side chick have something to do with this married man she will keep it a secret she will hide it even from her own parents that they will not even know you know so when this some men come across this kind of side chick they will go free you know but there are some side chick guys 
when you come across some desperate side chicks, beautiful people, they will want the whole world to know that this is their husband, of which is not their husband. You are dating a married man. And once they get pregnant, they are not going to do like prevention. They are going to get make sure that this desperate side chick, they are going to make sure that they get pregnant. And once they get pregnant, they are not going to abort the pregnancy. That is what I think is happening to this hour. You edushi, this our actor. So maybe he just wanted to have a fling, he just wanted to have a little, he just wanted to have a taste of something, he just wanted to like, oh, let me have fun. And he resorted this woman, you know, having a baby for him. So as I also saw in some videos that this second wife of you edushi knows that this you edushi is married because he is popular. It's an actor, everybody knows him. And as I also say in some videos, and even the second wife, she's an actress, which I don't know if it's true. So you being an actress, and you know that, not maybe you're in a far country, you don't know about this actor, you know that this man is married, and you went ahead sleeping with him, or you had a courtship with him, or you have like a relationship with him, and you don't want to like, you know, keep yourself, you know, prevent yourself, and you feel like, oh, when oh i'm going to get married to him you know or i'm going to get pregnant you know to break his home and finally you really got pregnant and you kept the baby and now the man is married to you so do you think or you do you feel free you know being the second wife that you know that this man is happily married with his first wife with four kids Four beautiful kids. You need to see you edition kids on YouTube shining. You need to see the videos. The kids are too cute. The four kids are too beautiful for the first wife to give him this kind of beautiful kids and a happy home. This man is happily married. So you a side chick. Why didn't you like oh if you feel like having fun why didn't you use a condom why didn't you prevent yourself for you not to spread this home for you not to make this woman to be in a trauma in the in a, you know emotional pains that she's going through so to me i don't blame you edushi i know people will come later and say oh oh susan family tv you don't need to say that because he's a man he knows what he yes to me he's a man but he's not a saint they are often so he's a man he's not a saint he's not a pastor he's not a reverend there are even some pastors who are dating women inside the church their wives will not know sometimes even the pastor's wife we know but because of she don't want the shame she don't want the shame for the whole world to know that a pastor is dating a member in the church she will keep it a secret to her to her husband in the home so you edushi is not a saint even pastors can get you know get women pregnant even not outside women even the women in their church a pastor can get them pregnant a pastor that is preaching fornication priest preaching adultery can get a woman pregnant so what i'm trying to say is that we should not have to like put all the blame on you edushi we have to also look on the side chick we have to also look on the side of the woman who got herself pregnant for a, a man that is happily married if maybe she was in the in the relationship with a, a you edushi you know and she said oh i'm just like you know having fun with you i'm just like oh i'm not i'm just like a friend you know just like we are just like in a really friendship but i'm not taking you serious do you think that you edushi will go far to say that you must get pregnant to me do you think you edushi will go far to say that no you must have a baby for me no to me the blame i'm putting on is not on you edushi he is a man he just like maybe let me have a phone and he resorted him you know being trapped this man you edushi now is trapped by this second wife you know and this second wife of him is not even like ready to release him to the first wife so my advice to the first wife please you know i know by now you are passing through a lot of i don't know how to put it a lot of pains a lot of emotional emotional pains that you didn't even like expect that your husband you edushi can go her far to get married to a second wife you know to all like we have been saying oh if i am you if i were you i would just leave him i would just leave him no to me from susan and family tv i beg you in the name of god as long as you do she your husband is a caring husband to you as long as he's a caring father to your kids 
please don't leave your caring husband and your caring father to your kids for any desperate heart chick side chick don't leave your husband your caring husband for any desperate side chick out there because this side chick that have come to like break your home she has not only come to break your home she has not only come to separate you from your husband she has come the second wife of you edushi has come to run run down the life of this you edushi you know now it's like oh you know she is carried away all this where all this where we think before we know it now we will start to see the other side of this woman this woman is ready to like drill this you do she down there are some side chick who are not pure beautiful people you know men they like oh this woman is so beautiful oh let me have a fling this woman is so beautiful oh let me have a taste this woman is so beautiful let me like see what is between a lap not all women you can go between their lap and you go free this there are some that are possessed some are possessed from the marine world and when you come across the marine women you know from the world these women that are possessed you know from the marine spirit who have come to the world physically to like destroy homes so as a woman are you going to like fold your hands and if you are a christian you had the one who have stayed in your marriage for 16 years with beautiful kids are you not going to like knee down to like begin to pray to god to rescue your husband to restore your husband from any maybe attack from any demonic or any marita, ma uh, marine spirit that he has attacked himself him that is so carried away smiling and laughing that is married to a second wife of which this man we are talking about to me this actor you edushi i don't think it can even like if real on his recesses that he will go ahead to marry his second wife you know so to me all those blame i put all those blame on the side trick i put all those blame of you know uh after you and do she getting married to a second wife i put all those blame on the second wife i am a woman as long as i know that i cannot hurt another woman home i cannot cause another woman pain you know i cannot like oh because huh, i'm a single mother for years let me be desperate to settle down and go and settle down with a married man. No, I am a single mother for years. Why? Because why? I don't want to get settled down with a married man. I think a few months ago, there was a married man I was chatting with, you know. He didn't tell me he was married. Later, he opened up with me that he was married. So he was thinking I'm those kind of single mothers who don't care even when they are married, they are desperate to settle down. I say, oh, you are married, really? And he said, yes, I'm married, but um, but uh, my wife, uh, I met, uh, I saw my wife with another woman for that reason, for years, I don't make love to her anymore. That is why I want a second wife. And I know you are going to make me, you are going to give me happiness, you are a responsible mother, you are going to love me, love my kids, also accept them. I want you to be my second wife. As oh, me, Susan? Mama Benita, in your dream, <laughs> do you, even when you are dreaming, do you think I can be a second wife to any man? Even in your dream, even if you use something, you can catch me. I cannot be a second wife to another man. Never. It can never be. My God will never allow that. The only way I can like accept a man is if maybe he has been divorced and for years, and I know that that woman is already with contact with another another man then i can say oh this man is free not when i see with my eyes and i hear with my own ears you said you have a wife and you saw your wife with another man and the wife you saw with another man is still living with you under the same roof you know so these are the kind of you know things that we mothers we single mothers, we have to be careful of. As long as you don't want another woman to cause you pain, please don't go ahead breaking people's marriages. Have patience. Every woman is destined. We mothers, we single mothers, our daughters, babies, even newborn babies, girls today, we are all destined with our destined husbands. Don't go ahead breaking people home. So the only thing I have to say concerning this, you Edushi second marriage is again, I don't blame you. Edushi maybe wanted to have fun. All my blame is on this side chick who has made herself already a second wife to you, a douchey, breaking another woman's home, causing pain 
to this innocent wife of Edushi of 16 years in marriage who the husband says he has never regretted getting married to her why would you break a home a happy home a happy uh, you know a happy man and a woman a beautiful wife a loving kiss why will you cause this kiss pain why will you want this kiss seeing their mother going through pain what will you gain as a woman you are a woman you're supposed to think if a woman does this to you will you be okay with it you know so thanks for watching Hope you learned something from this video. So again, what I will have to say to you, a douchey wife, please don't leave your marriage. Please don't leave your home for any desperate side chick. Don't leave your home for any marine side chick who has come to the world to destroy marriages. Please don't leave your home. As long as your husband, you a douchey, doesn't beat you. The only way I will say women to leave their marriage is when they are men. Husband raise their hand to beat them, or if their husband or the men they have, you know, in relationship with, they are like the kind of men that abuse girls, you know, like sleeping with girls. Maybe their husband make love with their to their daughters. That is the only way I would say, Jesus, you can never stay in that kind of a marriage that a father is abusing his own daughter. But as long as you a douche is not doing these things to you, it doesn't beat you. He doesn't abuse it. his daughter. He is a caring husband to you. He is a caring father to your kids. Please, I beg you in the name of God, don't leave your home. Don't think that after some years, you are going to get another man out there. Before you get another man who is going to be a loving husband and a loving, caring father to your kids, is going to take you 20 years, you know. So please, build your home as you have been building your home stand by your husband this is the time for you to trap your husband and bring him back do those things that you know that attracted him to you do those things if he's cooking everything calling love concern do those things and bring your husband back home as long as you and she is not bringing the second wife to live with you in your home i don't see any reason why you are going to pack out of your home you are not a baby you have been married for 16 years and with four kids so you packing out of your home for the side desperate side chick to have a more full place in your home marital home is not a good idea please you and the wife don't take side with anyone who is going to advise you pack out of your home because if their husband also gets pregnant got another woman pregnant they are going to stay in they are not going to pack out so stay in your home and build your home continue the love you have for your kids continue the love you have for your husband don't move away from your marriage don't move away from your home with your kids because of a side chick so thanks for watching beautiful people hope you learned something from this video don't forget to subscribe to susan love tv and don't forget to subscribe to susan and family tv you know please do share this video you know so that every other parents every mothers every women also passing through what you know you and Dushi might be passing through emotional pains so that when they see this video they can know that if their husband is caring to them their father of their kids is caring to their kids they don't need to leave pack away from their marriage because of a side chick because of a desperate side chick so thanks for watching see you in our next video by his grace we love you remain blessed from susan love tv from susan and family tv please do share this video Mwah!